Hi guys, welcome to another organization tip. Today I'm going to be talking about math binders. Now if you do a math binder, um, it's important that you know what you're going to need for math. Um, I'm not really a fan of loose leaf paper or filler paper, um, so I don't use it. But I'll show you what I do use. Um, so if you open my binder, you get a folder. And this is where I put the papers. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here. It's blue. This is where I put the papers that I need to hole punch. And yes, I have a hole puncher, and I put everything hole punched. Nothing goes without a punch. So then I have my notebook, which is where I'll keep all my notes, all everything, because I don't like loose leaf paper. Then lastly, we have my dividers. Um, my dividers, uh, they just, they're just to keep different things organized, I guess. And I have this one says you can see I don't think you can notes homework classwork pass outs and tests so I keep that all organized like that um, now another thing is I know in trig and algebra 2 I'm going to be doing graphs so um, because of that I picked up some filler paper and I know I just said I didn't like filler paper but this is graph paper this isn't just this isn't to write on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of it. So you're going to watch me open it for the first time if I can open it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I opened it over here. And we're just going to, if I can get this freaking up. Okay, so we're going to open this as best as we can with one hand. Sorry if I, like, go off center. I'm trying to open this. Okay, so you're going to shake it off or... Take off the plastic, and you get that. And I'm going to take off the first page, because I don't need the first page. And you have all this graph paper. So I'm going to take about a quarter of it. Just a quarter. We don't need that much right now. And then I'm going to put this in my understock of extra papers and school supplies. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this. Take that out and put in my filler paper. So make sure it's all even so you're not like nicking any. And then putting it in and then putting your spiral if it wants to okay, over it. So now you have your notebook and your filler paper under it. So that's what I did for my math binder, and this is pretty much all done. I don't plan on using these pockets right here because of the fact that I don't like things to be built up. I like them to be in their place, and that's what's going to happen. So this is this, and it's not bulging out at all, if you can see. It's nice and regular. So that's how I do my trig binder, or math binder. Um, also what you could do is... Um, just a notebook and a folder and then that could be your math stuff if that's what you want it to be so yeah um comment rate subscribe put any requests you want down below and i'll see you next time bye